Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So uh, doing a video here about um, the new Cube um, uh, PC client, which is from Netmarble. So Netmarble, um, big South Korean uh, mobile, free to play mobile publisher, does some PC stuff as well. As with most um, South Korean companies, it's now it's really getting into blockchain. Um, so a whole bunch of those games will be uh, released, obviously, uh, as, as usual through the app stores. Um, uh, but some of the games will be PC games, I guess, and also they seem to be doing some sort of emulation through um, this PC <coughs> um, sort of client. So this is a a sort of a hub for, I don't think it's just their blockchain games, because um, I don't think this one here, Over Prime, I don't think it's a blockchain game. Um, but uh, a whole bunch of blockchain games are here as well. Now this is just like a, like a almost like a Steam download where this is like a launcher, oh, it's basically like a, P, like a launcher for PC games. Um, and you have obviously the games, there's a whole bunch of games here. Um, so the only one that is sort of live, or well, it's not really live yet, is, is Golden Bros. So that's um, in the mobile versions in testing in the Philippines. Um, and then a whole bunch of these games, <clears throat> which say coming soon. Um, so some of these have been announced as blockchain games. So there's this whole sport, sports thing. So there's Meta Football, Meta Baseball, Meta Tennis. Um, so those, that's sort of the branding for their, uh, you know, for the blockchain bits. I don't know if these other ones I'm not so sure about. Um, but I imagine um, because this client has an inbuilt wallet, they, they are mainly going to be putting blockchain games through here. So um, that's uh, what's going on here. So installed, um, I've installed um, Golden Golden Brother, Golden Bros, although I can't play it. It says here, obviously, uh, NFT and um, play to earn. Um, I don't know if I click on this one, uh, yeah, it doesn't really give you any details of whether they're NFTs or, or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> that was not coming to next year. So, so anyway, sort of very early stages, but you can basically set up an account. So it's a you know typical um, account thing. You can you can log in with an email or or your 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 Google email or your Apple account, or you can create sort of a, a from scratch email password. Um, so uh, most of this stuff isn't really working at the moment because it's still early days, but there's um, basically, this is like a, I guess, a web um, browser that's just taking information from, um, I assume, a website somewhere. Or, so this is basically looking at the NFT pre-sale for Golden Bros. So you can't do anything at the moment, um, but basically they're sort of showing what's going on. Um, <clears throat> um, bank uh, coming soon, mall coming soon. So a whole bunch of little notices and stuff you can look at. If you want to so there is a uh, basically have an account here a friend and there's this wallet as well so the it's called cube um and the uh cryptocurrency is also called cube they basically um sort of there was there was a another south korean company it's been around for a while actually doing doing uh, blockchain mobile games um called uh itab i think it's called that's what it used to be called and they basically be, they've sort of taken over that 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 company there was if they bought them or not but that currency cube is, is what's Going to be running um, this uh, Netmarble's own blockchain um, system. So uh, we have this Cube token, which is currently live on the Binance Smart Chain. There's obviously a version or version coming to ETH and a version coming to um, Clayton, which is the blockchain from um, Kakao, which is the, one of the big social networks in South Korea. So this token is going to be on various blockchains, and I assume with this is a you know, this is a custodial wallet, so you don't have the um, sorry, non custodial wallet, so you don't have the keys here. No, it's a custodial wallet, isn't it? So, so, so you don't have the keys that they, they are they take custody of your crypto. So, um, you you have to set up a wallet to do that. To do all that, you have to set up a password and a sort of recovery question, but you don't get seed your seed. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that, that's probably how things are going to go. Um, and then the, the way you're going to get stuff in here at the moment, you either can have the MEX exchange, um, or the uh, Coin One exchange, um, so one for the Binance Smart Chain and one for Ethereum. Both of these, uh, and then actually Mex, Mex here. I don't know if that is, um, I don't know where that was from, but so Coin One is definitely a South Korean exchange. Um, so uh, as I say, this is all sort of early day stuff. So um, that's that thing may change, um, and also you can see here. So there's this Cube token um, underlying sort of native. If you think there's a native token for this uh, platform, and then. It, each game will probably have its own token as well. So we see Golden Bros has its QBC token, obviously not live yet. Um, uh, that's turning off the pricing. 
cube. I guess at other points there'll be probably I would think they would have the opportunity for you to just buy you know, a fiat on ramp, so you can just buy crypto straight into your wallet through something like Ramp or, or um, Simplex or something like that. Uh, chat room, not going into that. Um, so yeah, you can see the basic functionality, although most of it's not working. So if we go to install games, we can see I've got Golden Bros installed. But if I go to play on it, I mean I can look at the look at the trailer and you can, yeah. Um, it says early access is 28th of April. Well, we're past that, but that's um, um, if I go and click on the game, take a bit of time. To... So um, here um, it's loading, as you can see, it just popped up there and said this game's only available in the Philippines. <clears throat> so if I was if I was in the Philippines and was playing the game on mobile, I would basically um, uh, link my mobile um, account to the email and password I'm using for this PC version. So it, 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 this game, Golden Bros, is a mobile game. There is a sort of PC, I don't know if it's an emulation or a PC version of it, but basically you're sort of logging in. I guess it's more emulation, really. You're, you're logging in, um, sort of having connected your phone to the, you know, the, the account you're playing on your phone of Golden Bros. You're connecting that account to this um, PC account, um, or this PC, this PC sort of launcher. So I can't play that at the moment. And even if you, I don't know, emulating touchscreen mobile games on a PC, um, you know, even with a mouse and keyboard, not, not great, really. But, um, that's, uh, that's that's what's going on there. So it's quite a nice, um, quite a nice sort of PC client. Um, when more games come out and there's more integration with the blockchain stuff, um, that will be sort of uh, more worthwhile, I think. Um, and obviously, with stuff like Steam not accepting blockchain games, and although Epic, Epic said they will, nothing yet. I think probably quite a lot of companies will go down this route if they're already running PC um, sort of launchers for their PC games. Um, much easier to integrate crypto and blockchain into those existing launchers. Um, than, than sort of a mess around um, with other ways of doing it. So anyway, that was the video today. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.